the advice I give to the young people is that also the advice I give to myself that nothing is easy, nothing is free. If you want to be successful, you have to pay the price. Alibaba 18 years to today's size. Yeah, we are lucky, but we work much harder than most of the people. We never sleep well and sound in the evening. I traveled last year 867 hours a year in the flip plane, in the plane. I'm working hard, my team working very hard. 18 years, we work like a normal company, day and night. Nothing is free. Nothing is easy. Easy means you have to think different. You have to do different. We made stupid decisions almost every day. Nobody knows. We thought it's smart, but finally proved stupid. But we learn, we do again. We learn, we do again. That's the way, that's the life attitude. This is my advice, and this is also I'm telling myself every day. Today is very tough. Tomorrow is more tougher. The day of tomorrow is beautiful, but most people die tomorrow evening. You have to work very hard. Every tough days, every tough situations, problems you meet, that is the training of yourself. When you graduate your school, graduate from this school, you just start your career of learning. When you got a PhD diploma or bachelor diploma, this is just a certificate you pay the tuition for four years. Your real challenge is when you leave the college, the real exam starts. Don't worry about the future. All right, don't worry about technology. Uh, let me tell you one thing. When you worry about the future, that is because you are lack of confidence. You lack of imagination. We don't have, I may not have the solution for future, but there is a solution for future. We don't have the solution for future. But our young people have a solution for future. I find in this world, young people don't worry about the future. Older people worry for the future. I found those six, today successful people, they worry about the future. Let me tell you, future is the opportunity for everybody. Especially the opportunity for young people because we have nothing to lose, right? This is what I tell myself 18 years ago. 18 years ago, we did not have money, so we, can, we have no money to lose. We don't have technology, we have no technology to lose. And then we say, we believe 10, 20 years later, e-commerce, internet will be powerful. If we start to do now, when a lot of successful people don't like technology, don't like internet, we start to do it. 10, 20 years later, we will be the expert. 10, 20 years later, we'll be successful. So I think, don't worry about the future. Prepare for the future. Make your own future. Cloud computing, big data, artificial intelligence, they are new to anybody. You are successful, new to you. You are not successful, new to you. So what do you worry about? Second thing is don't worry about the things the other people worry about, especially don't worry about the things president and prime minister worry about. Worry about things you worry about. 
We, everybody have too many things to worry about. If you do not worry about yourself, you worry too much about the world. Now, today Alibaba should worry about the world. You should not worry about the world. You should worry about when you graduate, how can you make a living? How can you do something that is different? How can you do something that is fun, interesting, and helping others? Always focus on the things that you are good at. Focus on the things that you love. And that is what we call a partnership. By answering that, I give you advice for those young people. If you are 20 to 30 years old, please find a good boss. Not, not necessarily a good company. Learn from the boss. Learn how to do it. When you are 30 to 40 years old, try to do something yourself if you really want to try. When you are 40 to 50 years old, do things that you are good at. After 20 years of learning, you should do something you're good at. When you are 50 to 60 years old, spend the time supporting young people. When you are six, over 60 years old, spend time with your grandchildren. Right? That is normally a lot of people like that. So, when you are graduate, when you just in the university, don't think about, I want to resign from the school and be another Bill Gates because Bill Gates left Harvard. There's only one Bill Gates in the world. When you graduate, find a company. Most important, find a good boss that can train you, discipline you, and tell you what is good and right. It's more important than a good company. Right? Of course, a good company, a good boss, even better. And then, continue your life. It's all about the partner.